Hello again, random YouTube people. I am back with another video. Today we're going to be installing and reviewing the Streambeam 2.5 Mocha adapter, which is coax to ethernet. Let's see how it goes. And no, I am not sponsored by anyone, not Streambeam or any other provider. Not yet. And stick around. So for whatever reason, I just cannot get good internet signal in my office. I'm using a bedroom, which is a bonus room above a two car garage. And the Wi-Fi signal for whatever reason just does not go into that room very well. I have a router even inside the room and it's not picking up the signal from the other satellite actually is it's what it's called. And I go from outside the door, which is like 500 or so megabytes per second. And I go inside and it goes down to like 130. So it drops dramatically just going into the room. So without opening all of the walls and running a dedicated Cat6 line up to the room, I'm going to be using the Mocha adapter. This will convert the coax in your house to an ethernet, at least one room at a time. So we're gonna go give this a try. So these just arrived in the mail. We've got the Screen Beam Mocha 2.5 coax to ethernet adapter. So I'm really excited about this because I'm not really able to run a Cat6 line from my basement to the room above the garage. I'm really hoping that this coax adapter here will boost my signal up into my office. Now in the box, you get a transmitter and a receiver, and I don't think it matters which one you use for which port, but we'll have this. Transmitter and receiver, they look identical, so I'm assuming they're the same, we'll find out. Inside the box, they also provide you some um, ethernet cable. This is only a Cat5e, but Cat5e should support a gigabit, but I might upgrade that to a Cat6 if this goes well. They of course provide some coax cables if you didn't already have some. A splitter if you needed it. Um, two splitters. And that's so that you can have your internet line and a cable line if you're still using cable TV as well, which in my case I am not, so I'm not gonna use those. And of course, the power cords. Now downstairs in my basement at my custom networking box that I added, and I have another video for how I added this, I'm just gonna pop off these panels so I have access to my network box. Now I really wish when I was putting this network box in I would have gone for the bigger size because you can see I'm running out of room in here. Now what I'm gonna do is take the coax line that goes up to the office or what I'm using as an office going to put it in that adapter and have a line coming out of this switch here. This line coming down into my switch is from the router. This line goes up to the router and this one comes back down from the router into this switch. So I'll be plugging into here. I might be able to plug directly into the modem, which would be really nice, but we are going to find out. If I do that, then I wouldn't have any of the security of the router, wouldn't have anything like parental controls or anything like that because that's all based off the incoming router signal. But let's get to it. Okay, I was able to put this screen beam adapter down here at the bottom of my network box. I have an outgoing Cat 5E cable that connects to the screen beam box. I'm going to upgrade this to Cat 6 in the future, but this is the cable that was provided. So after that, it goes to a coax line, and this is the one that goes up to what I'm using as my office. And of course, it's all powered here off the power strip. So let's go upstairs and test it out setup which I will change and make look pretty but I've got my coax line running to the adapter and so you can see power on powers um, the coax is on and then I have the ethernet cable running to the back now currently you can see it's not hooked up um, right there I have my old network connected and I'm going to go ahead and run a speed test on the old network and that is So under 200 megabytes per second, the upload, that starts off great, goes down to about 40, um, and that's through our my old existing network. So I've now plugged in the ethernet cable from this Mocha adapter, and let's run another speed test. Start. Okay. 
and you can see the upload speed is dramatically better. We're 650 versus, what was it, just under 200. And the upload speed is about the same, really. I mean, the upload speed's not impressive considering I'm paying for a gig up and down, but I wasn't getting good Wi-Fi into this room anyways. Let's run one more test. Well, now we're into the 800s. Awesome. So download's amazing. Um, upload is okay. I mean, it's way better than what I was getting through Comcast. I was only getting five megabits, um, or megabytes upload. And so now it's getting 72.2. So that's way better than what I was getting with Comcast. And this switch is providing me much faster download speeds going through the coax line directly connected to my um, router downstairs. Now, being not too impressed with the upload speed, I did my due diligence. I went downstairs and I restarted the modem. I restarted the router and all of the satellites. I also unplugged and replugged in the screen beam adapter. And I did the same thing upstairs. I didn't use speedtest.net earlier in the video because I couldn't get it to work on my computer for some reason, but now it does work. And you can see the download speed has increased to 933 and the upload speed has dramatically jumped up to 765 megabytes per second. So after the restart of all hardware, you can see that it's working dramatically better. So I would recommend you do that. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, it really helps me out and I can bring you more videos. And as always, if you didn't like my video, feel free to go make your own video.